first college basketball, Wisconsin, Illinois. Khalil Iverson Ooh. runs the floor. Nice put back. Like another Iverson on that one. Is that going too far? It's yeah. a little too far. <laughs> yeah. A little, a little different body little, size. A little, little bit. A little, little bit. A nice. little bit. Good win. Line I. <laughs> K.I. They turned around and Brad Underwood nearly had a huge win for him. Next, Virginia. Virginia Tech. Ahmed Hill steps Ooh. in front of the pass. Goes coast to coast. Dunk at the other end. Nice. Not shooting the gas. We're not showing Virginia winning. We're showing Virginia Tech dunking. Okay. We're showing yeah. highlights. Well, oh, listen, I'm okay with it. Virginia can be so boring, I'd rather watch the other team dunk. And finally, from All-Star Weekend, Jay Clark, the jumper. This is an acrobatic dunk. Wow. What's happening? Ooh, nice. he should have been in the dunk nice. contest. Nice, You actually have to be able to play basketball to be in the NBA dunk contest. Moving on. I, I, sorry, there's hair in this mug. Well, I don't know. Moving on. In the NBA. You know that. Odell Beckham reports are that the Giants were aggressively shopping him last offseason. That was until the Patriots came calling, and then they pulled their star wideout off the market. Remember, the Giants signed Odell to a five-year extension last summer. Doug, should the Giants still look to deal Odell? I, I love this story. This is like one of my favorite <laughs> stories of all time. Like, man, we're gonna we're, let's let's see what the market can have, and all of a sudden you get a call from Bill Belichick. Like, so you're thinking about uh, dumping Odell Beckham Jr. Like, no, who told you that? We love Odell Beckham Jr. Like, dude, Belichick called. We're missing something. <laughs> you're, you're missing something. Um, I, I I mean, this could this is a disastrous story for the New York Giants. I mean, what a they give him a contract after three months of good behavior, and then the second and the contract is signed, he goes back to being the exact same guy he was, only now empowered by this huge contract that you want to get rid of him. Um, just the, the, the steps of errors from taking Saquon Barkley instead of getting your future quarterback to signing Odell Beckham Jr. when you didn't have to. You could have let him play out the season and see if he was really a changed man uh, to the fact that now they're still kind of stuck in what do we do quarterback wise? What do we do with OBJ? And then this story comes out that you legitimately wanted to move him. And then I hear Jake Glazer in his mailbag. Uh, make a bold prediction. That's what started this whole right. thing. M makes a, a, a bold prediction that he'll be moved. And as we know, like Jay Glazer, right. when, he's, when he talks, like E.F. Hutton, people right. listen. So um, I just, I think this looks like a clown show in New York that, wait, you were going to trade him, but because Belichick was interested, you didn't want to? That's because that that system, that program is run the way it's supposed to be run, where you get in line, if not, you're gone. That's it. Period. End of story. He never would have gotten that big contract from from the Patriots. He's incredibly talented, but it's hard to win with him because of all the other stuff he brings with him. But here's the thing: what has he done? You said it's back to the old Odell. We know that uh, he had the interview with Little Wayne early in the season, which okay, you know everybody knows Eli is a problem. That's their biggest problem. You said it. They should have drafted a quarterback. Eli's 38, he's not the same, he's not able to utilize Odell. Outside of that, now maybe Jay knows he, that he there's bail, stuff he, going there on in onside, the locker room. Onside kick, he was on the hands team, chance to win a game, and he did the business decision and got out of the way. I mean, that's that's what this is about. You can't uh, at that you can't point, make it was a smart thing to do for no, that it's team. No, it's not. For that team? No, it's not. Where's that team going? They weren't trying to Okay, you're gonna take you're gonna put that play over all the great things he yes, did this season? Yes. He threw two he threw two touchdown passes. That, that's not even uh, to mention how get, great he was as a he receiver. He doesn't get paid to throw touchdown passes. He gets well, paid. Well they don't have him throw the ball. Okay. When listen. he throws it, he threw it well. All I'm saying is you're gonna he doesn't get paid paid to be on the uh, onside kick team. He's, yes, he does. He he's gets a, paid to be a receiver. It, that's the one problem you have with him, that he made a business <laughs> decision in a year where we have no chance to make the playoffs? No, wait. At, he at, should listen, have made a listen, business decision. Listen, listen, no, he should not have. He should have. Okay, let's. Would it be better to get hurt and, in a season where your, your season's lost and maybe you're hurt for the, the upcoming best thing season? About, what's the best thing about Odell Beckham Jr.? His talent, his what, ability. What, what, what specific talent does he have that, that we are all in awe of, that we watch hands, pregame? Hands, he's a great receiver. You have an onside kick, dude. This is a team football game, and you're on the hands team, and the ball's coming that's your way. That's your one thing. That, that's him returning no, it, to the it, old it, it, Odell. It, it embodies the problem with Odell Beckham Jr. Is that Odell Beckham Jr. is about Odell Beckham Jr. And Many receivers it. are. Huh? Why did New England want him then? 
because he's super talented and they're dumpster divers. Uh, the same the same reason they always are. And and who knows if they wanted him or they just want to make a call. Let's see. They let's were see what we can, that position. Can, they were can, they would be and they're, they're terrible would be wide great receiver. There. And they want a Super Bowl without anybody good no, outside I the numbers. I get it, but he would be tremendous. Of course there. he would. So, and and he would. my point is but by I'm the way, not saying he's perfect. But if last season he really wasn't, he's not the problem. They, if they, they get a quarterback, if they drive Dwayne Haskins and he's good, yes, they've got Evan Ingram at tight end, Odell Beckham Jr. at receiver, Saquon Barkley at running back. I agree with you. I think they sh that was a mistake, but he's still great. If you have those three and a good quarterback, you'd be hard pressed to find another team with a better trio of skill positions than those guys. I, I, I understand, but the, we've seen this from the Pittsburgh Steelers. When you have great skill position guys, you don't have necessarily a football team. Remember, they shut him well, down. They shut him down at the end. He, do, he hasn't do played you, every do you, year. What do you think the Giants should do? Do you think they should be looking to move him? I would love to move him. The problem is now you're going to take a major cap hit, right? Now, because you signed this, this deal. He's a freak talent, okay? I'm, he is an absolute freak talent. He's special. But they got better the less they went to him last year. They just did, and and they started they to win football very games good with or with going to him or not. I, I understand, <laughs> but they started to win football games the less they looked for him. And I'm I'm not disputing that they have an Eli problem. That's their right. number one problem that they have, and that they can't for whatever reason they just can't quit Eli Manning. They can't move on there because of, they're the first family in football, and they have to fix the offensive line. They have to fix the defense. But look, football is there. There's no better embodiment for the team game than watching the New England Patriots with the guys. You can't even name their wide receivers, right? Like, Julian Edelman's their slot wide receiver. Outside the numbers, you're going with Philip Dorsett or Chris Hogan. Neither strike fear into your heart. But you can win football games. Why? Because they do their job. And when you're on the hands team and everybody shows up to watch you catch balls before the game and you have the greatest catch in football, even though Julio Jones' Super Bowl catch before the collapse was actually a better catch. Nonetheless, <laughs> if, you, if, if you're known as having the best hands in the NFL, that when you're on the hands team and a ball is coming your way and you've got guys in front of you that are designed to block the other the team, you go get the ball. He's about himself, so not about winning. The and if the Giants want to win, they should get rid of no, Odell Beckham Jr. No, they should not trade him. You don't blame losing on a wide receiver. Okay, Julio Jones, is he great? Did they make the playoffs? No. Adam Thielen, Stephon Diggs, are they great? Yes. Did they make the playoffs? No. Receivers make the playoffs when you either have a great quarterback with you or the team around you is great. They're an accessory. And if you get a great quarterback, Odell Beckham will be great for you. I, I just don't think they should trade him. And I don't think he was that bad of a problem last year. Again, the Little Wayne interview, I think people probably made too much out of that. We know, should you go on there on national TV and say that about your quarterback? Okay, no. But compared to what a lot of receivers are doing, name them. Antonio Brown. And that's why he's going to be gone. Well, we'll see. Well, listen, the listen. owner wants to meet with him. Listen. I think the owner would like to keep him. Well, that's because the cap hit. If they weren't, if it wasn't going to be a $20 million cap hit, he'd be gone yesterday. There are a lot of re receivers historically today. Randy Moss was a problem. Randy Moss had an attitude. Until he, and when he was on bad teams, he was he was a bad team. Do you think that I mean, would be different with a different organization yes, or in a different culture? Yes, absolutely. Because he wouldn't be, look, uh, uh, what, what we know a quarter of what really goes on. Well, correct? That, that's why, look, like you said, Jay Glazer's as plugged in as they get, and maybe there's stuff going on inside that organization that we don't know about, which will lead them to trade him. I'm just saying, from what we know, what we saw last season, I would not trade. Well, and remember, Dave Gettleman has a history of this. You go back to when he's in Carolina, he had Steve Smith, right. who's as talented a wide receiver and as competitive a guy as possible. They get rid of Steve Smith, they go to a Super Bowl. So there is there is precedent for this, even with their general manager. But that, that's really my point, is like, look, we know a fraction of it. We can only see the snippets we see on Sunday, and then when they're on local radio, or they're conducting interviews. If even if they have him under this new contract, and you have Saquon Barkley, and you got Evan Ingram, and you got Sterling Shepard, the thought should be all we need is a quarterback and fix some other things. But when they're talking about moving on from Odell Beckham Jr., it tells you all you but need to know. They? He's a pain in the ass <laughs> that keeps you are from winning they? and doesn't help you. I mean, uh, Jay made a bold prediction. Like I said, I don't know if that was based on his reporting or if he just wanted to make a bold prediction. But do, he's but, plugged in. I'm not. I'm not questioning Jay Glazer. I'm not. I'm not. But I'm just saying. There haven't been other reports that the Giants are looking to move him. I mean, since, you know, before the season. Yeah, true. Okay, but Schefter I'm thought he'd be moved last offseason, and now you got Jay Glazer. And, like, Jay Glazer, he, I'm not saying he bats a 1,000, but it feels like feels that way.
It really feels like no, egg laser is close to a thousand. All right, we're moving on from Odell for the moment. Coming up, like could KD and Kyrie already be count. planning to join forces? That's next on First Things First. Culture, character.